It is Friday and sunny and nice out finally, so I'm having a bit of a break moment. Uh, I have, of course, chosen to upgrade Tachi, the friendly solar-powered spaceship car. Uh, one of the things that's a downside or a bummer about plug-in hybrids is that most of them, uh, when, you, when you turn on the heat, like the powerful heat system, it has to turn on the engine to actually run that. Uh, but what I found is that if I wear a jacket and like heavy clothes, I generally don't need to turn on the heat except for my hands get cold. And in a car like this, it's a problem where you have things like touchscreens. My God, that is dirty. Ugh. Yeah, that's another problem about this is these touchscreens get pretty dusty. Anyway, uh, so you have to have your, your hands unveiled to operate parts of the car. Uh, so the solution to that, of course, is if you buy a nice model of this kind of car or many kinds of EVs, they have heated steering wheels. However, I don't have the nicest model. I have a mid-range model. So I want to show you what I've done here. Here we go. Uh, I, this is my DIY heated steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that I've added on. Now, when I first looked into these things, I found out that they uh, that there's like corded ones and anybody with half a brain will realize the problem with the corded option. So here, actually, I have a cord and I'm going to plug this into what you can see is this is my janky option here. So this is a Velcroed battery pack. This is 18650 cells. I don't want to pull it off because it, it's hard to get back on and off. Uh, but I've, I've stapled this thing underneath there. Um, <laughs> anyway, the corded version would be something like this. So I've got this plugged into the battery in the back of the car, but it could have been plugged in up there uh, by the, the standard card 12 volt. But if I like, oh, we have to turn the car on here. Hold on. Okay. If I try to turn the steering wheel, look what happens. This is the stupidness that has to do with the corded version. So uh, I, that's why I came up with my own little bootleg crappy AliExpress. <laughs> uh, I had some 18650 battery cells laying around already and I could plug them into this thing. And so if I want, I could charge the thing like this. Like, so when, when I'm, I'm stopped or I'm out of battery power or whatever, I can charge the little packet. But then like when I'm actually driving, I have it plugged in like this. And this is sort of a crappy, uh, originally was a corded version and steering wheel cover that I got. It is also nicer because it, it's got this this sort of uh, plush velour, I think is what it's called, uh, surface. So you can kind of warm it up by just like rubbing your hand back and forth. You get a little bit of friction. Uh, but also it's just nicer to touch rather than the bare sort of leather uh, version of the steering wheel. And it sticks on really quite tight. So I've got this like tied in pretty well here. Here you can maybe kind of see what's going on back in there. Uh, and I can turn the whole thing freely without it bumping into itself uh, as a a cordless version of the heated steering wheel. Now, the big downside to this first version here, unfortunately, is that you can kind of see it's just a heated wire. So this wire runs through all this thing and like, it does like warm up your hands a little bit wherever the wire is, but you kind of end up doing like, you want to like put your fingers on the wire or something, or like <laughs> it doesn't really, and like the wire's kind of just in this one spot. Uh, so I've decided this is not a very good solution and I'm going to do a, uh, actually a heat spreader system underneath a thing like this and probably get a nicer cover. Uh, but I wanted to kind of show this off because that way I can keep my hands warm while the rest of my body is covered in jackets and then not have to actually turn on the heat and use no gas because that is the goal. Here you go, just showing off a little bit more about like what is this actual device. This is a like $5 adapter off of AliExpress. It just has a 12 volt in and 12 volt out. It has enough uh, lithium ion 18650 cells to get to that voltage. Uh, so it works relatively. This is this is like the same thing as laptops of yesteryear that had cell, like the six cell battery. That's what that refers to as these kinds of cells. Um, so this is really cheap and I already had the batteries just kind of laying around from previous e-waste. Um, and I measured them and made sure they were still good enough to work in this thing. So uh, that's my cheap option. Uh, steering wheel covers like this, the, the wireless ones that I was able to find were like $70 or more. And then even the wired ones were still more expensive than this dumb, like this, this cover was like $5 and then this thing was $5 and I already had the batteries. So <laughs> $10 heated steering wheel option versus, you know, paying several thousand dollars for the upgrade. I did talk to what my friend who works at the Hyundai uh, service center. And he said that even if you like brought in your own steering wheel, you'd have to like, there's a button that would go down in here in the console uh, that, to add in all that stuff. It's thousands of dollars. So this is just my cheap and I don't, I don't need it most of the year. I'm just going to put this thing on when it's uh, prohibitively cold out and I want the heated steering wheel. Otherwise it's like this. And if there's this like soft Velcro underneath there, it won't even really be visible and I could even pull it off for real sale later.